Welcome back to Market Headlines. Food and Drug Supervisory Agency has green-lighted the COVID-19 vaccine produced by Chinese pharmaceutical company Sinopharm for emergency use in Indonesia in a move that it could accelerate the country's vaccinations program. Penny Lukito, Food and Drug Supervisory Agency's head, said in a press conference, Sinopharm was the first among several vaccines private sectors proposed to use in their vaccination program that got clearance from the agency. Plus, Indonesian Technical Advisory Group on Immunizations and clinical experts have reviewed Sinopharm's data and determined that the vaccine is safe and effective. Dan berdasarkan hasil evaluasi secara keseluruhan terhadap data-data yang kami terima, Uh, baik itu data mutu, data produksi, ataupun juga data dari studi-studi preklinik dan studi klinik dapat disimpulkan bahwa pemberian vaksin uh, vaksin SARS-CoV-2, vaksin Verocell Inactivated Sinopharm dua dosis dengan selang pemberian 21 sampai dengan 28 hari menunjukkan profil keamanan yang dapat ditoleransi dengan baik dan efikasi serta respon Uh, untuk meningkatkan imun yang baik. Sinopharm third phase clinical result shows that its COVID-19 vaccines has 79% efficacy, meaning the proportions of infections among vaccinated people is about fifth of the proportions of infections among those who were not vaccinated. The private sector was keen to carry out several vaccinations programs to accelerate the vaccination rate in the country, including The government prioritizes vaccinations on the healthcare workers, workers in the services industry, and the elderly. From Jakarta, Ricky Anwar, the IDX Channel. Now into the latest story of COVID-19, Indonesia's drug regulator on a Friday approved the COVID-19 vaccine of China's Sinopharm. After Sinovac, Biotech and AstraZeneca, Sinopharm is the third company to have its vaccine approved by Indonesia, which is seeking to inoculate 181.5 million people by January 2022. But before we examine more about that, let's know first about Sinopharm itself through the next graphic. Here it is through the next graphic. It's developer Beijing Biological. Be Beijing Biological Product Institute, a unit of Sinopharm subsidiary China National Biotech Group, has said that the vaccine was 79.34% effective in preventing people from developing the disease. And the Sinopharm has presented the data on their COVID-19 vaccines, indicating the level of efficacy that would be compatible with those required by the World Health Organization. So in July 2020, China approved the vaccine and began exporting it to other countries. It has been approved in several countries, including China, Pakistan and United Arab Emirates. Now, after Indonesia, Panda Lukito, as the chief of Indonesia's Food and Drug Agency, said that the Sinopharm vaccine recipients had reported higher antibody rates and rare side effects such as swelling or diarrhea. And overall, the arrival of the Sinopharm COVID-19 vaccines has made Indonesia has 73.9 million doses of vaccines. So let's see the detail in the next graphic. Here it is, Indonesia so far has 73.9 million vaccines with the first phase of 1.2 billion vaccines. But in the other day, in the 10th phase, it has 6 billion doses. And some are ready to use vaccines and some are still in the raw materials as well as semi-finished vaccine. As Indonesia received 500,000 doses of Sinovarm vaccine given by the United Arab Emirates government, it means that the total vaccines is now 74.4 million doses. However, Indonesia's vaccinations program has slowed due to export ban from India and other supply issues. Although Health Minister Budi Gunadi Sadikin say that he hoped that it could get back on the track in May. But therefore, Sinopharm will be used in the private immunization scheme, whereas the companies buy government-procured vaccines to inoculate their staff. Based on the regulations of the Minister of Health No. 10 of 2021 concerning about the implementations of vaccination, the private scheme will use a different type of vaccine, 
from a type of use in the government program. So let's see the classifications in the next graphic. Here it is, through the next graphic, we can see the classifications. For the private scheme program, we have Sinopharm and Moderna on the two, but for the government program, we got Sinovac, AstraZeneca, Novavac, and also Pfizer. But looking at the number of doses that have arrived in Indonesia at this time, if it is calculated based on the need for Indonesia vaccines, that only about 17% of the total vaccine doses needed are obtained. Previously, Health Minister Budi Gunadi Sadikin said that Indonesia needed 426 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine to vaccinate its 181 million people. And yes, Verdi Budi Dharma, as the CEO of pharmaceutical company Kimia Pharma, which distributes the vaccines, said that the private vaccination program, which starts next month, could be a backup the government to reach herd immunity. In Indonesia, the COVID-19 vaccinations has started since January 13, 2022. And up to this moment, the program has been going so well. So let's see the latest progress about the vaccinations in the next graphic. So here it is through the next graphic. We can see the latest data, which is the May 2nd, 2021. There are around 20 million doses in Indonesia. And for the first phase, it contains 12.4 million doses, while the second phase, it contains of 7.6 million of doses. And according to the latest data, the number of COVID-19 vaccine recipients in Indonesia has increased by 13,901 people, bringing the total into 12.4 million people who have received the COVID-19 vaccine injections until May 2, 2021, by giving the first dose of injections. Although currently the majority of Muslims are fasting in the Ramadan, the COVID-19 vaccinations program continues. Moreover, the Indonesian Ulama Council, or AMUE, has also issued a fatwa that receiving COVID-19 vaccination shots during the day does not break the fasting. Since it was first announced by President Joko Widodo in March 2020, COVID-19 is still currently infecting thousands of people throughout the country every day. And therefore, vaccination is a part of the efforts of Indonesian people to fight the COVID-19 pandemic, which is still spreading. Stay tuned with market headlines because we will be right back after this quick break.